Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. My husband's been working for Jacksonville Sheriff's Office for a little over 13 years. He used to be on the bike unit and he was chasing a stolen vehicle on his bike. And I happened to uh, catch one of the suspects in the car for him. And we started dating ever since then. It's great to be married to a police officer because he understands the hours he understands the hard work, and I call him up a lot because I have a lot of questions all the time, and he's able to answer all my questions. He's very supportive because I go to court a lot, and I talk to a lot of the state attorney's office, and I have a lot of male friends because there's not that many females on the police department, and he doesn't have a problem with that. Yeah, where y'all at? One of our robbery stakeout guys is observing right now going on is a robbery in progress. So we're going to go hopefully be the first ones on the scene and take the suspect down. We're hoping the suspect's still going to be there. But right now, the suspect's still right there, and he's still hitting the victim. Might be 23, and he's, he's, they're all up in the bushes. Where are they at again? In the bushes. Right there. Right here. Right there at the shell station side, Richard. Right in front of Drop! Drop the pot now! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! Get off of him now! Get off of him now! Back up! Back up! Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Really? Your hands your head! Get down! I don't care. Get on the ground. Damn, I'm holding down here with a fight on top of him. Huh? That bad thing, y'all play a cop. How the hell y'all trying to make a feel about a police? That's right, man. And then you got a protect paint when we can. That's right, that's right, that's right, man. Okay, I'm going to show you my, I'm gonna show you my wallet and my money. You try to rob me. See him. I'm glad y'all come. Thank you. What's that say one more time? Man, try to rob me. I'm just sitting right here. I ain't got nothing on me. That's a slum. Come on, my mama got on top of him and hold him from the pipe. That's the slum. Sit down. Okay, listen to what you did. Tell me what happened. He tried to rob me. He just come up and try to rob me. Were you just sitting here hanging out? I just sit here, man. Wasn't bothering nobody. He tried to rob me. Just then. My my money now. Did he get anything off you? He didn't get no money. Y'all came up and stopped him. He finna take all the money. What was he doing with the pipe? He finna hit me with it, but he couldn't did swing. He ever, did he hit you with it and stuff? He tried to, but I was stuck between these two pipes where he couldn't swing. I was trying to hold him right there. Were you just sleeping here? I was just sitting here, ma'am. You know, I sit out here every yeah, night. Yeah, I moved it. When I came up here, the guy had the pipe in his left, in his, uh, left hand. Yeah, man, trying to hit me with it. And he was trying to hit him with it swing, when I pulled up. I said, man, don't, why you, why you jumping on me? I don't mean no trouble to nobody. I work every day. I'm just out there. You're not in trouble right now. I see what you're saying, sir. We understand. You're saying this guy robbed you. He's showing he out. Looks like he probably did robbed you. What did he say to you when he came up? When he, he just, just got walked up and said, I'm finna take your, my boys right over there by the stove. Dude with no shirt on and some more almost was standing by the stove. He said, we finna take your, man. I said, why you bothering me? And that's when he throwed his hand around my neck. And I'm sitting there. He pushed me back in these bushes. And he had the pipe trying to swing. And I, I, I'm trying to grab him. Man, get up on me and leave me alone. Was you grabbing in your pockets and stuff like that? He was grabbing at me, ma'am. Okay. He's trying to get my money out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I, you know, I, my money. The man on crack. I know what he on. He on crack. 
Do you know him at all? I see him up and when I get off from work. And I know he on crack. And I, I know he's trying to get some crack money. I know this him. I know this man. Okay. I don't well, bother nobody. He's going to jail now. He need to go. I'm going to press charges on him, too. I'm sure he is. I'm going down and press charges on him. Okay. Because he tried to kill me. We got him, buddy. I'm, I'm glad you got him, We got him, him right in the act. I'm, I'm glad you got him, buddy. I don't see your ID. See if this you can right. find it out. It is right here, ma'am. It is right him. All right, we're gonna get. We're gonna talk to the suspect. See what his story is. Yeah. Uh, 99 anyway. But, What's his uh, warrant for? It's uh, just FDA on a trespass. He says he came up here and uh, the guy was saying something about his mama. Telling him to. Anyway, he was, yeah, talking about his mama. So he goes ahead and uh, he says this guy had the pipe first. When I came he, up, he, he had the pipe. In right. His hand. He says. He says that guy had the pipe. And so he bum rushed him and held him to the ground and grabbed the pipe from him. And so that's when we pulled up. So well, it's just, he, it's just he, a lucky. Yeah, this crack. guy's on the bottom. Yeah. He's going to scream for help. Yeah. This guy's on top. He's got the yeah, pipe in his left hand. He says they're buddies and they go drink and smoke crack and get high together all the oh, time. Oh, he says he knows him and he says he's yeah. crackhead. Yeah. But uh, he said, my buddies are over here. Yeah. And he, was, he, was, he, was, he said he didn't go in his pockets yet because we got here too quick. Yeah. Sam. Mr. Your neck, how about move your hand off for me so I can take a look, all right? Yes, sir. All right, now you didn't get cut or anything. You just grabbed you right around the yes, Adam's apple. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. They were choking me. Like all you right. tried to pull my whole Adam's apple out. Okay, well, you're not cut or anything, so yes, you sir. probably have like a bruise. Okay, sir. Trachea or something like that, all right? All right? But they're going to check yes, you out. Yes, sir. And make sure you're okay. Yes, sir. What are you going to write it up? What made him get the pipe to hit me? I bet you. I think you, I think you hit the pipe, buddy. No, I'm when I came up, when I came up, you had the pipe on him. I know you know. Oh, uh, don't play that game. No, no I don't think so, man. Hey, check this out. Come you had the pipe on him. Pipe. Why are you on top of somebody? Exactly. You You're on top of him with the pipe. No, you, you had the pipe in your left hand when I came up. I have to talk to you, dog. What you need a pipe? Whoa, 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 whoa. What you need a pipe? You, you want to talk a person? If you want to touch something, this is the arresting officer right here. I ain't finna talk to her. Uh, right, make man. sure, make sure you put egg batter on there. But she already put my head to pipe. Sarge wants to do egg batter no on robbery and, and attempted in that part of the. Hey, but when the world I'm gonna get on top yeah. of the pipe? I'm on top of holding down the pipe. If I got While a pipe, he had the pipe in his hand. If I had a pipe, don't think he had hiccups on his head. If I don't talk along, all I'm right. down the pipe, man. All right. We have a guy walked up to the uh, to the victim with a pipe in his hand and was striking him in the head while the victim was covering his face up. And when we showed up, the suspect was on top of the victim with a pipe in his left hand and was still looking like he was going to hit him. And he apparently he's got a... Richard ran his name and he has a warrant out of his arrest, so not only is he going for robbery, but he also is going for a warrant. So we've gotten a lot of robberies in the area. So we set up the deployment and it worked out. Good deployment. Yep. We're en route uh, now to a animal call, uh, possibly related to an alligator in the backyard of a residence. Uh, I haven't had any of these yet this year, but it is getting towards the season. But alligators do start migrating and mating. Uh, hopefully, won't have too many problems with it. Usually, they don't get into the neighborhoods too much. Uh, they contract uh, with the Game and Fish Commission, have people come and remove them for us. But usually, uh, at least in my short career, I've only uh, called them maybe once. And it should be right here uh, around the corner. We should be there. Keep going, Sprinkle. Knock on the door, I'm going to walk around back. Oh, there he is. Here's his head. He's about five, six foot. Looks like he's been banging up against the fence trying to get out. I wonder how he probably got in here through that hole in the fence over there to the left. 
How you doing, sir? Has this happened to you before over here, or is this <laughs> first time? It looks like he came through that hole in the fence right there. Now he's stuck and can't get out. 74, he's in the uh, backyard, uh, nowhere near one. So when I was sitting there on the telephone, the cat was acting weird. And all of a sudden, I saw this gator's nose up against the glass. And uh, then we started making phone calls to find out who to call. And then he was resting over here for a while. And I came out to close the back door of the garage, and he just sort of... So, so he was out. actually on your porch there? Yeah. Nose to nose with the cat? Nose to nose with the cat. And then he was resting right over here on the back stoop. And ended up over there. And then decided to call the sheriff's office. You got your rope? Oh, I'm sure he's alive. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> So when you grab his tail, is that how the trappers do it? Or they... He hisses and moves. Bill, and... That, al that alligator's strong. <laughs> how you doing, gentlemen? Explain to me what goes on here. I've, uh, first time. I'm going to noose him, drag him out of them bushes. Noose him and drag him out of the bushes. And then what happens to him? You got to get him taped up. I believe he's upset. That would be the hiss. Hey, 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 hey. I don't think he's happy. Oh, he hands you the stick. Is he about six foot? Six and a half. Six and a half? About how old do you think he is? He'd be five, six, ten years old. So hopefully he doesn't have a dad or nothing around here? I don't know. He flapped around and he's in pretty good shape. Is it a male or a female? Can you tell? Would that be your standard issue duct tape? Uh, some of it's a little better than others, and some of it ain't. And you didn't dug up in the pocket. Six and a half foot, huh? Yeah. What are the odds there's another one around here? Hey, 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 easy. Ooh, hear that. One alligator in custody. Oh. You want to read Ms. Rice now? Nah, he'll take care of that. Hey, 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 hey. Not going to break out the tape, is he? Oh, hey. I hate it when that happens. You guys just throw him in the back of the truck, or? Lay him back there. Where do you guys take him from here? To the house? Leave him to my place. You gonna tie him down? 
I wouldn't wrestle him, would you? I'd rather chase somebody on foot. That's it. Not a job I could do. What are they doing? They're still standing at the gas post deciding what to do. No one has left, though. We've got some officers in a covert vehicle that are watching a staged vehicle uh, that's at a gas station, and we've got a group of individuals that are fixing to either one break into it or two steal it so what we're going to do is kind of hold back a minute and let the guys in the covert vehicle watch it and see when they actually make entry or take the vehicle one is wearing a red shirt with blue jean shorts and he's on a green bicycle the other one is wearing black pants and he's tall and slim like me six foot 140 150. the one on foot is wearing a Tannish brown, flowery, long dress, signal 80, standing at the phone booth, watching the vehicle. I think she might be, she might be a lookout or something. All right, she's, what's, this is what she's doing. She's talking to the guy on foot, and now she's going to look um, at both sides of the, of the car. Past her side of the car, he's, she's, I'll tell you when she reaches. Hey, come, come here, come here, come here, she's going, she's going. White female. White female. Go, 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 go. Get on the ground. Put your hands where I can see them. Get your hands, get your belly on the ground. Put your hands where I can see them. Put your hands where I can see them. Can you show me Lindsay? There's a change in there. I don't even know which car that is. I never touched that car. I swear, you just don't want to see it. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Here, here. It's not real hard to understand that, ma'am. I'm sorry, but I... I... Don't tell him you just told me Lindsay there's a change in that car. Guy, you better tell him. All right, roll on your side. He just told me to look and see. Okay, that's fine. Roll up. Get up. I ain't never seen this car before. Get up. I just went up here. Matter of fact, officer just stopped me on the other side. He'll tell you I was over there. Right. I wasn't that's even fine. over here. That's fine. I wasn't even over here. I just now walked up. He told me, look, he has that car. Let him see there's a change in. My friend likes to change this thing. He wanted to. Okay. He, hold on. He had $5 to change. That's fine, ma'am. Just hold I on. I swear to God, I ain't never seen that car before. You got anything on you I need to know about? Anything that's going to stick me? No, sir. Okay. The man in the Amico will tell you I just now walked up here. Okay. Have a seat back here. I we swear to God, I don't know nothing about that car. That's fine. Have a seat. Oh. Oh, man. Watch your feet. Well, we got one in custody. And three more thinking about it. You can't imagine why she needs a screwdriver. But she walked around the car, looking around, see if it was around. Then she opened the passenger door and then got inside the car like she sat down under the passenger seat. At that time, that's when everybody moved in. You walked up, what happened? He said, you, he said, let's go in on something. Which one? The one on the far right, right there. With the, the green brown shirt, shirt or brown, shirt? brown Brown, brown, brown shirt. shirt, okay. He said, you want to go in on something? I got about $5 for some change. He said, look, the boy just jumped on the, got out of that car, got on the expressway. He said, there's some change in the middle of it. He said, there's a cell phone and all kinds of a briefcase in there and everything. He said, just look in the middle and get the change out. And that's what I got. That's when I just cut the So you going to steal the change out of, out of the car? No, I was... I, well, what were you doing in there? Just be honest with me. I was going to get the change. You were going to get the change? Yeah. Okay, you know, that's our car, right? No, sir. It's the sheriff's office car. I didn't know that. It's a type one. <laughs> Walk back here to this car back here. Yeah. Take him, huh? Both. Howdy, y'all. Who asked you to come up here? I was just working. And he said he, there was some change in the in the console of the car. He said, uh, reach in there and get the change. He said, the, okay. But why would you do that for him? Why couldn't he do it himself? I don't know. Stupid. You, do you know him? No, I'm just tired. I, I, we were talking earlier. What's tired got to do with it? Huh? What's tired got to do with it? How long you been up? A couple of days. You been up for two days? You smoke crack? Yes, sir. Is that why you're out here walking the street? Mm -hmm. What happened to your mouth? The guy tried to kill me. Who tried to kill you? I don't know who he was. When did, it, when did this happen? 
Two days ago. Two days ago? What, he beat you up? Was over a trick? When do you think you're going to learn? It's not safe out here. Look what look what trouble you get into when you do something that somebody else wants you to do. You got a family? You got kids? Who's got your kids? They're, they get kids of their own. Huh? They get kids of their own. Do you have kids that have kids? Well, what do you think they think about you being out here? They don't like it. Well, don't you think it's time to quit? Yes. Please don't think. How long you been? Too. How long you been tricking? For a while. How long was a while? I don't know, a couple years. Two years? So you, were, you basically you come out here work enough to get enough money for some crack, and then you get yourself in trouble, right? <laughs> to over some change in a car. You took something that's not yours. I didn't take nothing. But you went into some place that's not yours. I really hope you get some help. <laughs> Maybe this will do it for you. Good luck. What are y'all going to charge me with? I don't know what they're going to charge you with. Probably burglary and burglary, possession of burglary tools. Those are for my fence, Father. For your fence? Actually, they're a pusher. They're what? <laughs> for my fence. The, my, my gate in my yard. Oh, uh, that's how you get in your fence? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. well, to lock it. No. Maybe they won't charge you with that. I think you got you got some more problems that you need to take care of. Though. You need to get off this street before somebody kills you. All right. Well, good luck. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay. Gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Here to 2514. Ted transmit on tag 2. Okay. We'll still send a code 3. until proven guilty in a court of law. Got an officer that went to a burglar alarm, and uh, when he arrived, there's three people running from him. It's apparently going to be a bona fide burglary to a business. He's got one at gunpoint laying on the ground and two more running from him. Uh, they have one in custody. The one that's still outstanding is going to be a white female who thinks that she's uh, still inside the fenced in lot in the back, maybe. Twenty two six three times out. Can you tell us what happened? Um, just pull up. I, I pulled up here about the time you got here and uh, pulled up to block the gate in just for putting lights in the backyard. Thought that we would walk through and just be sure nobody was there. And about that time as I pulled up, I see him getting the truck to to uh, run and pulled out and hit my truck. So you pulled out and he ran into you, rammed you like that, tried to take off running? Yeah. So you blocked him in? And then you took off running, and they took off running. Yeah. We caught them. <laughs> right. I pull up here, and he comes shooting across the road. While they're trying to make the escape, he takes them head on, and then they bail out. And that's the time I put out 1033. And the driver comes out and tries to run. He wisely gives up. And the female <laughs> is in the back. North of the Ten four. If you can set up anywhere in the north, it's going to be a white female, short black hair, with a dark blue shirt. Another dog way back in the back. There's another dog way back in the back. <laughs> we'll take the dog. The dog comes out. I'll take care of the dog. Take care of the dog. Take care of the dog.
Better come out of here right now. Better come out of here right now. Come out of here right now. Show me your hands right now, man. Put your hands straight out. Stick your hands out. Both hands. Both hands. Come on out. Come on out. On the ground. Go right to the ground. Get on the ground. Mine's around the corner. Whose car is this? Show you what's going on. Uh, whose car is this? Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Oh, wait. Do you have any weapons on your men? Ow. No. Ow. Yeah. It's not mine. Okay, we've got a crack pipe right here. It's not mine. Makes me do things I don't want to do. Is that your boyfriend, husband? Yes. Significant have other. A seat, okay. Have a seat. You want to talk to me now and tell me what's going on? Why is he making you do this? I, I didn't want to come with him. You didn't want to come with him? No. Okay. And he made you come? Yes. He said if I didn't come, he was gonna beat my ass. How long y'all been together? A few months. A few months? Yeah. Did he force you to put that crack pipe in your pocket? I didn't know it was in my pocket. Oh, okay. Are those your I... jeans you're wearing? No, they're his. They're his jeans? How many other times has he forced you to come up here and, and break into businesses with him? He times. Where at? Do you know any of the businesses or where it happened no. at? I don't pay no attention. How many times do you think that he's admitted or that he's forced you to break into businesses? A bunch of them. A bunch of them? This ain't the first time. A dozen? <laughs> Two dozen? Oh, no. I can't. Do y'all always take a U-Haul? No. Okay. You just need to relax and keep being truthful, okay? That's the only thing. I am. The truth shall set you free. I'm dying. Okay. Take a deep breath. <laughs> How many times have you been with him when he's broken into other businesses? Is this the first one you did tonight, or did you break into any earlier? No. None earlier tonight. How about yesterday? I assume he probably knocked you around a little bit, and you yes. probably got scared. Yes, yesterday. What did you break into yesterday? Storage. Storage units? Yes. How many times have you broken into storage units? About seven, eight. I told you everything. Okay, fine. Well, You've been very honest. I don't want to go to jail because of hell. Right. Ace Hicks said that the... Uh, the zone three's having a whole bunch of burglaries that they just did haul. They just did one last night. Where at? On beach, Atlantic Storage, or one of the storage places. Well, they're probably all the storage burglars. She said that they've been to six or seven different facilities, and he'll do six or seven different units at a time. And the does with bolt cutters, and bolt cutters supposed to be in the cab of the truck. The mm U-Haul. -hmm. So all this property belongs to the victim. It's a pretty good pop. Yeah, you start the inventory here and see what all we got. It's sort of clear about a case. Yep. Take a few deep breaths and I'll come back and talk to you in just a few minutes, okay? <laughs> Relax, Agnes, okay? Good deal. So what do you think? I think we just uh, might have ended up getting lucky and cleared a bunch of the uh, burglaries to the storage units. Her crack pipe's there on the trunk. Laid it okay. there for you. We'll leave it there. That's probably the least of her concerns right now. Probably so. I'm Officer Scott McNeil. I've been with the department 18 years. I work on the west side of Jacksonville, which is Zone 4. It's a real diverse side of town. It's, it's got your rich people and your poor people and your middle class people. Uh, very busy side of town. You have all types of crimes from barking dogs to murder on this side of town. So it's a very, very busy place to work. Green 
Marine Ford Order dually with chrome, chrome grill. It's not, that could be it. Romeo 457. Romeo 457. I'm on Brandon Avenue southbound behind a green Ford Dooley. Uh, I think it's a Ford, uh, possible 23 vehicle. Are you location? Romeo 457. On Brandon Avenue, um, uh, 5700 block, 1065 the tag. It's uh, Florida tag Alpha. Kilo. Uh, right now we're at the dead end of Brandon Avenue. All units, 433 for Romeo 457. Looks for a trailing vehicle. See, that's a trailing vehicle right there. He could, he could be involved in it too if it happens to be them. For information, we're on Kincaid now going back towards 103rd. They're just making circles back in the neighborhood. Right now I'm behind the vehicle, uh, may possibly been used in some string of armed robberies. Kilich 57, we're going to be going eastbound. Units, for information, there's a, I believe possibly another vehicle in front of him that they may be trying to follow each other or he may have turned off. I'm still behind the dually. HQ, I'm going to go ahead and try to 1050 him at, uh, by the time we start, it'll be about Ricker Road probably. Romeo 457, he keeps switching lanes, so I'm going to try to stop him up here around the 7900 block. Uh, we're going to turn into Chase Ridge. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Watch him. HQ, he's not stopping yet. I'll let you know something in a minute. He's going to run. HQ, he's going to run, I think. Uh, we're still inside Chase Ridge. He's fixing the... Not stopping yet, XQ. He's going to run, I think. XQ, he's, he's definitely running now. Give me 1033 and give me some more units in an air unit. Right in the middle, right in the middle. Right in the middle of the complex. He's a black male driver. Black male driver. He's fixing the bail. No, he's gonna. He's not gonna bail. He's going up through the copper. Romeo 457 going up through the complex. He's ducked somewhere. He's got gray pants. Which way did he go? Which way? White. The, he's blackmail. White shirt, gray-looking pants. That's the... All I saw was the white shirt. Yes, ma'am. In front of my front door, getting dressed. Right here in this hallway, behind the stairs. That's probably him right there. That's him. That That's him. him. That's the 22. That's him. That's him. Come here. Can you identify him? Come on up here. That's him right there. Yeah, because I my front door to come out. Hold on. He says, hello. Oh, and he's getting dressed. His hair's all like pineapples or whatever. HQ Romeo 457, I think we have the suspect in custody. <clears throat> right in the front of the complex, I have a witness that saw him changing clothes. Uh, hey, Neil, the we just came out outside the fence down there. Uh -huh. All right, I want you to look at this guy and tell me this is him. Yeah. Okay, that's him. Up, Romeo 457. Romeo 457. I'll 1080 for an evidence technician. I got his clothes over here. Oh, uh, right now we had the black male that bailed out of the vehicle. Had a gray shirt, a white shirt on and gray pants. 
He come around the corner after we lost sight of him and he's changed his pants, shirt, and threw down the gloves behind uh, the stairwell case. Uh, at that point, he went ahead and exited and I was walking down like business as usual. Luckily, we had a, a witness that saw him changing clothes and uh, we went ahead and made the apprehension and he is definitely the suspect. You got a uh, remote control for the CD player? Okay. Bet your mind's got his fingerprints on it. Put I'm him sure. in the car. Okay. We definitely know he's in the car. Okay. I got him over here in my car. Good. We'll run around Very good. <laughs> we had a large number of kids and adults right by, out by the pool area. Uh, this vehicle, obviously, he had no regard for their safety. He let the vehicle go. Um, there were people sitting all around it. He could have eased very easily ran into children, adults, and killed somebody. But luckily, we were lucky enough to apprehend him. We're going to go ahead and uh, tow the vehicle. We're going to be able to release it to the owner. He uh, happens to be a very lucky man. They duct taped him during this robbery. Um, they used a firearm, which in the state of Florida automatically carries a 10 to 20 to life sentence. Uh, I think they had probably intentions of killing him. But uh, we were very lucky to get this bad guy off the street. He's obviously a career criminal. So everything worked out just fine and nobody got hurt. I've been with the department 18 years. I uh, did some time in, some, in corrections. My uh, number one priority, I think, is to come home each and every night with no holes other than what God gave me. Uh, I just want to come home every night and be with my family and and just do the best job that I can each and every day. So you might try to try one of the 1020 to break the screen in. Can I also call for uh, assistance up here in reference to a disturbance? Several people up here today gas station arguing. Let's see if we can assist him. We me and my girlfriend was at the car wash over here on uh San Juan. Okay. This man laid a sad story on us. Come on, I'm from Savannah and I'm trying to get back and my car broke down and I want to sell this gold chain I got. He got some cosmetic jewelry in his pocket. My girlfriend just got her income tax back. She gave this man 40 bucks for a chain that turned rustier than nobody's business. And she was ashamed, hold her head down, because I kept telling her, I said, baby, why you get that man that, that money for that thing? Uh -huh. This same man, he took off like smiling. I pulled up to get some gas a few minutes ago. He asked me, you want to buy a chain? You know what I'm saying? And I called the police. Because you know why? You too old, mister, to be playing game with people like that. And you have to stop that. People work too hard for their money. And, and you know, you start, you try to help people. It hurt me. Because like I say, sometimes you meet people and you might really believe they, they're really in a, a slump. You know what I'm saying? But people like him, he tried to get out there and he told that officer, I lied. Oh, no. I ain't from here. I'm from uh, so and so and so and so and so and so. But the truth coming out, see? So he tried to sell you some jewelry? Yes, he did. He sure did. And this lady, the working the station, asked him to leave. You know what I'm saying? He tried to sell me some change. Okay. Where are you going, sir? He told me to step down. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't, don't hurt yourself there. You don't have no shotguns on you, do you? Military weapons? No. And when I met him, when I met him this evening, when, I first, when he first walked up to me, he told me... This, this, this your man, car? He was trying to get back no, to me. That's, uh, that's what that man told me. I'm not going to find a lot. Whose car? I'm not going to find a lot. Uh, Davis. Where, where's, where's David at? He's going to drive that weed out. A starter went bad on him. The starter went bad? Yes, sir. He's going to get started now. Oh, okay. And this man you're talking about, I told him this brother from the You probably, probably you, know, know, you, know, so you don't have any jewelry on you now? Yeah, I do. Let me see your jewelry. Let me see what kind of jewelry you got. Let me see what kind of jewelry you got. Where'd you get this at? Uh, buy it on, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they charge $6,000 a piece, bro. $6? Yes, sir. You know something, sir? It doesn't matter. So much you selling it for? 40 No, I just bought it for 15 You get 15 or 20 Yeah. Whatever. Okay. That's why she gave him that $40. You understand what I'm He let his thumb turn on her to Okay. Well, hang on to that right there. Yeah, I don't know that, man. Yeah, he's I'm mad. He's mad because you sold some fake you know, stuff. Man, he, huh? he remembers. No, I told him nothing. Now, let me ask you a question. You tell, you're telling me that you've got a piece of jewelry in your pocket that you, you normally sell for 15 or 20. Now, what makes you think 
This man don't remember you from him selling him some jewelry. No, he ain't. Hey, that's what God is like. He, 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 he just telling you that because I ain't sold him nothing. What do you think we ought to do? You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to see him taking advantage of people like he is, man. He need to know that he can't be out here taking advantage of people. I understand. I don't know. I mean, just some lesson needs to be learned to him because, like I say, this is not the first time I've seen this man. It was over Well, I, I, I know. I, I've yeah. seen him before. Yes, sir. I, I know what his yes, deal sir. is. Yes, sir. So what would you do if you were in my shoes? What would you do? I told him if, if, they got, if y'all got another report on him like this, he's going to lock him up. Okay. Really, I would. All right. But he needs to know he can't be out here taking advantage of people like that. Giving them them sob stories, they see him when they came, and he feels sorry for him. Well, you know, but man, you were, I work hard for my money, man. Did you see him drive up here? I don't drive. Huh? You don't drive? They say you drove up here. No, I don't drive. How come everybody else is telling me that, you, that it's just you two up here? Who that? The lady right over there. Who? I bet, I bet this car starts up. It won't stop. You don't think? No, sir. Okay. You don't think? So why'd you tell everybody you was out of gas first? I am out of gas. You out of gas and need a starter? Yeah, it won't stop. Well, Boy, you're just in bad shape. Hey, hey come around here. Come That's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust you. Yeah. I'm going to trust you. Okay. okay, so where? how long ago was it that your girlfriend? Yeah, he's been doing this quite a while. I know. But yeah. he caught us over at that gas station on San Juan over there. You know, he, one, one morning, early Saturday morning, we was watching the car. And he come walking around the corner. And she's feeling sorry for him, you know. Next thing I know, she's right there. And she says, uh, I just bought this chain right here. And I looked at the chain. I said, oh, no. I said, where's the guy? She said, that's him going down the street there, you know. She said he was broke down. And he was trying to get some gas to get back to wherever he said he was from. But when I rode up just now, he told me the same story. I said, well, look at here. Six months, I see the same guy again. He says, that's not me. Okay, listen, guys. Let me, let me give you a real good piece of advice. Yes. Okay, you know times have changed. Yes. Okay, what's going to happen when you keep up here peddling this fake jewelry yes. and you get somebody's $40 because they feel sorry for you? Yes. Somebody's not going to react the same way as this guy did. Yes. Okay? Yes. So, you know, I know you're an older man and you've done your time, and, and but you can't be doing this to people. Yes. Okay? It's not right. You know as well as I do that jewelry's $5. And you're trying to sell it for 20 or 40. Only and there's some, on some people are foolish to pay that because they feel sorry for you. Okay? Yes. I feel a little sorry for you too, but I'm not going to give you $40. But if you need a couple of dollars, I'll give it to you, but not 40. Yes. See what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So this lady's been nice enough to tell us that she doesn't want to give you a trespass form that you can't come back up here, but don't be coming up here selling no more jewelry. Okay? Right. Get your car fixed and get it on out of here. Right. Okay? Don't be approaching nobody else and messing with these customers. Right. I see that either. Okay, I think that's pretty fair. I Thank you. All right. We be going home. Okay. Yeah. Have a good day now. Thank you. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get into 2514. Can transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Mike McKinley and uh, Cummings are going to be buying today. Sergeant Phelps and myself will be in the arrest uh, car number one. Chip Moore is going to be in the red blocker along with Bennett. 
Car number five is going to be the green Honda, Robinson, Huey, and Dickinson. Everybody should have a scanner. We'll run around here, see what we get, and then just do citywide. Any questions? Everybody know their assignments? Let's do it. Everybody with blood. This is a known problem area right here. This filling station. Constantly problems. Uh, we were here last night and arrested somebody for sale. So we're going to try it again. There's a couple people out there now. And they're right there. Evidently, they're going to do it right here instead of the park, instead of the... They were going to go to the trailer park. Now it looks like they're going to do the deal right here in the parking lot of the gas station. Right, it's going down, it's right there. Please, let me see your hands. Get, get your hands up. Get hands up. Get hands up. Get up. Step out of the car. Get on the ground, man. Get on the ground. 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 I'm trying. 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 You got my wallet right there, man. The right there. You got my wallet on the ground, man. All right, buddy. The guy that did the selling was sitting right here in the passenger seat. We pulled him out. The buy money we used right there. And then a couple more dime bags of marijuana. Along with a little Hennessy. Ain't nothing but a Saturday on the west side. I live down there on 110th and Brothers. Right. Yeah. Park. Yeah. I'm over here. My kids are right there walking. Is this That's your car? Nice. Is this your yeah, car? Yeah, it's my car. Where's your kids? Right. Right there, that's my daughter, right there. They're How coming old is she? From, they're coming from Villa Del Rio Pool. She's 12. The car is going to be seized. We'll give you all the paperwork if you want to go to court, contest it. Well, even I have though, to. Even though that you saw in plain view a drug transaction going on. You, you're not blind. Can you see well? I, I mean, was in the store. You weren't in the store when we came up. You were in the car. Yeah, but he was in the front seat. I didn't see yeah. anything. Well, I mean, it's in plain view. A bunch of weed, money, exchanging hands. Okay, okay so I'm not going to put you in jail, but the car, I, I have probable cause to seize it, okay? We're going we're to get you, we're going to tow it. I'll give you all the information. Can I get my purse and my cigarettes? Sure, we sure can. We can take care of that. And okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and leave from here, and we're going to go to another location right up the street and uh, do it again. All right, where we're going to go now is the apartment complex over here off of... Uh, Confederate Point Road. People called into the station saying about a black male selling out of an apartment comp out of the apartment there. So his name's supposed to be Champ. So we're gonna give it a try. We'll come out one, two times, three times a month, depending on what the uh, problem is. And uh, his, his guys or his officers and my detectives will ride together and we'll uh, do search warrants, we'll do by bus, reverses, whatever the uh, situation dictates to try to uh, combat the, the drug problem. He's got, he, 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 he did a, uh, a non-verbal signal, took his, took, his, took his hat off. Come on in, guys, come on in. There he is, right there. Let's go, let's go. Somebody cover the back. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, yes, sir. You're under arrest. Mike. You see a white tank top? Yeah, white tank top. Okay. You got Ten four. Black shorts. White socks. Black shorts. Black shorts. Get him up. Let's take him outside. Put your hands off. What's that? Don't come over here. I did this guy. The right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You had the right to talk to an attorney before you ask any questions and to have an attorney present during questioning. Do you understand your. That's him. 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 That's him.
Just get out of a plastic bag. What are you doing with the sheriff's money? The sheriff's money. Yeah, this is the sheriff sheriff office money. How'd you get that? How'd you get this? Dude bought it in. What dude? Some black dude. Okay, what did you what did he give you this for? He gave me that for me. So you didn't sell him anything? No. Touch me. So he just gave you twenty dollars. Laid it on the table. He just laid it on oh inside the apartment. Inside. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, he, um, when he went inside the house, um, he went to the back, like a little hallway. There's a um, um, entryway to the left, right to the left. He went back there and got it from back there somewhere. Ten four. We got the money. He said you just gave him the money. Just laid it on the table, and he didn't know anything about it. Is that your story? Uh, and you're sticking to it. Is that your story, partner? I ain't got nothing to say. Okay, well, you're under arrest for uh, sale of uh, narcotics. Crack. Champ, how? Hey, how you doing, Champ? Ty, take him. Is this Champ? Yeah, we'll call it Champ. Dealing drugs. Got a 99 on him. We know for sure. Yeah, Champ dealing drugs. That's apartment. Come on here. trying to clean this place up. Huh? Brad, come here. Look underneath here, real quick. Where are you at? Oh, 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 right here. Plate full of cocaine. We're going to preserve that for Prince. Got it? Yeah. All right. Good, good call, sir. Got a complaint here from the uh, from the manager of the complex about drug dealing. Came up here, made a buy, and. Uh, turned out that he's actually manufacturing crack cocaine inside his apartment. So we got a good bit amount, and uh, he also had a warrant on him for domestic violence. So it, it worked out good. All right, we're on the way to assist another officer right now. He's on a call in reference to several raccoons in a woman's chimney hissing at her children. And apparently she's called wildlife control and everybody else she can think of to have them come help her out and not get any success. So we're going to go see if maybe we can assist her somehow. Not real sure what we can do, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we get there. It's only the second time I've ever been down this road in my life. This thing pissed at him. <laughs> These raccoons Who's that? Are, Which house is it? This one? Bad. Yeah. Yes. They are not very happy raccoons, and they're trying to chew I'm through the saying, flu. I swear to God. And her dog, a Doberman, yay high, is trying to get at him. And she's got, but she's home alone with her But we opened the flute just a little bit, and the thing was like... <sighs> Didn't he, didn't you, you tap on the flute and these raccoons go nuts. And, and you can hear the babies. You can hear them. The it's raccoon insane. trapper won't come out and get them. So how long have you had these friends? You know, I called wildlife control. And he goes, well, how long have they been here? I said, well, it's been a couple of weeks, but they've never hissed at me. I'm not about to confront raccoons. Can they get in your house? They're digging at the flute now. They're like right there. Let's go in and take aren't another they? look. Aren't they? You are no, my I was witness. there. They are like right Raccoon's there. not in the phone book. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in writing about raccoons. Yeah. Your dog's not going to eat me, is it? Yeah. <laughs> dog is very friendly. Can you hear him? I don't hear anything yet. Oh, man, they do growl. <laughs> I don't know. Look, see, they're back over here. They're on that side. Oh. Here, little coons. <laughs> oh, good oh. gravy. <laughs> <laughs> they had their paws sticking out before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see him. He's right there. There should be two of them up there. Do you have a ladder to get Actually, on the roof? he's going up. He's going up. Okay. Got one running. He'll be right, right back down, I guarantee it. They've been there all night. He went halfway up. two hours ago, Ken. Is there a ladder we can get on the roof? Go up there if we can get him to leave. He is growling. I'd like him to go away if he would. Maybe you can speak him back up. I'm going to close that so they don't... In case they decide to come back. <laughs> he's not stuck. He can definitely get up and down. Where's the ladder? It's in the garage. We'll try. If we can get them, if we can get them out, they'll probably run off, and I doubt they'll come back. 
All right. Do you have the flashlight? See at least two two youngsters in there. They look like they've been there a while. They're quite comfy. Oh yeah, they've they've been there for a little while. Hey buddy, come on out there and bring your friends. Yeah, it definitely looks like they've been uh, living there for quite some time. How do you call a raccoon? I don't know. <laughs> the babies are just kind of plugging their ears, wishing that we'd go away. Come on. I don't think they're... I don't think he's going to leave without assistance. I don't think he is either. Yeah. I think there's three babies, actually. I'm trying to count heads. Yeah, there's there's at least three heads I can see of the little ones. They're laying in a little, nice little warm pile. They're real, real relaxed. The little ones, they don't care about anything. Mama's not Mom, happy. Mom. <laughs> Mama's taking care of business. <laughs> Mama almost chased me off the roof. Watch out for the skylight. <laughs> uh. Mama's antisocial. I don't know. Uh, you got it. You can't leave them in there. That's not safe, especially with kids in here. Four-year-old child's sleep and she's home alone because of the rabies. I mean, they can get in. They can I get know. in the house. We're Raccoon Rescue. Raccoon, raccoon Rescue. rescue. All right. volunteers. Basically, we got mom to uh, flee the coop and the well, little babies are... the best thing that we can do. You know, whispering in. Uh-huh, whispering in. He lived directly across the street from me for several years and now I live at Bandy Townsend. He still lives over there. Let's see if we can get this... Uh... He's going to try and break that off too, man. And there's a pin rusted in is what's holding it on. Did you get it? Yep. They're on the right side. Watch. Try not to hit that flume because it's still, it's just kind of hanging there. Don't worry about your beer right now. You know what? Got it? Got it. Alive. Oh, it's pretty little. Gage is awake, Janie. Smaller than I thought it was from up top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You want to move that one? In here? Yeah, I'm trying to get back in. Well, I'm thinking, should we put the other one in here too? Oh, I think this is. Yeah, you got the line. Actually, they look a lot bigger. Up there. Here, just set this in here. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Thank goodness they're not much older because they can get vicious, even well, the yeah, vicious. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, no, they, they nah, we got them. No, we got them. We got two already. There he is. Brooks, our hero. You're gonna need a new cotter pin to put that thing back together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I'm not worried about. That. Here we go. Well, poor oh, there he is. Oh, aren't they precious? Mm -hmm. How old are they? They're these were only I'd about say six to eight. Yeah, weeks. I'd say six. Maybe to eight. a little bit older. Right. That's right. Happy endings. Four year, four years of the business, and that's the first raccoon in a chimney I've had to deal with. I can't wait to see what's next. I was riding down here on patrol, and we had a, a fire. After the fire was put out the firemen were clearing the house and it's just filled with smokes but still they found a small box in one of the back bedrooms and uh, it had these two puppies in it that they were just sure were dead they were lifeless and uh, they brought them out just because the firemen down here are really good guys they they put the oxygen mask on them and tried to revive them and it worked my uh, sergeant and I loaded them up in the car and took them home and my girlfriend na <laughs> named him Asher uh, from the fire, and he's just—he's part of the family now. H.K. Alpha two sixty one ten fifty eighth and Laura. We just saw a guy pull up and pick up a prostitute, so we're gonna pull him over. Hey, how you doing? Put your hands up on the wheel for me, okay? 
What are you doing up here at such a late hour? I just come from Coca-Cola. From where? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, where's that? Over off of McDuff. And you're going home? Yeah, I was on my way home. Okay, why are you driving around these back streets down here? It's nowhere near Coca-Cola or your home. No, I wasn't driving around the back street. I gave, gave a guy a ride. You gave a guy a ride? Yeah. Where'd you drop him off at? Back on 4th and something. Did you come straight here from 4th and something? Yes. You did? Okay, you weren't north of here or nothing like that? You came from 4th up to here? Well, I came up here to go up to the store. Okay. Store. So you came straight from the store down to here and you haven't been that way yet? No. Okay. Do me a favor and step out here with me real quick. Sure. Take your seatbelt off. You're not going to be able to do it. No. Oh, okay. Step, just take your wallet. Put it right there. You don't have any weapons on you, do you? No. You in the Navy? No, I used to be in the Navy. Okay. Take a walk right back here, right back to this car with me real fast. I appreciate you showing up, Sam. I was just about to call you. What's your first name? Terry. Terry? Yeah. You ever been arrested before? No, I haven't. Okay. You're telling me the truth, right, about everything that's going on here. You dropped a buddy yeah. off. Have a seat there. You dropped a buddy off at 4th and where? 4th. I don't know exactly where. Across the railroad tracks. Okay, and then you came straight here? Yes. Okay, who's that lady in your car? I I know her from past. This morning to go to Ireland. You do? How long have you known her? Gosh, I, I haven't seen her in a while, but I've known her. Known her for a while? What's her name? I don't even know her name. Why don't you just be honest with me and tell me what you're up here doing? And we can we can go from there. But right okay. now you're just you're you're tripping over everything you say. No, you're no. saying you were down at Fourth and wherever the railroad tracks dropping somebody off when we were sitting up here watching you pick this girl up. Yeah, because she she asked me to give her a ride to Arlington. Huh? She asked me to give her a ride to Arlington. Is that what she's gonna tell me? Why do I doubt that's what she's gonna say? That's, Does she, she know your name? You guys have been friends for so long. What do you bet she doesn't know your name? She doesn't know. Okay, so you're still going to stick to that story, and that's what's going on, right? Yes. Okay. All right. He just picked me up, okay? Right. He's been, he rode around like three or four times. Picked you up for what? He picked me up. I need a ride to Arlington. I asked him if he, I need a ride to Arlington. Okay. And I don't think he was going to give it to me anyhow because I didn't want to date. Okay. So he's but, looking for a prostitute. And I mean, I am a prostitute. I know, but, but, I mean, but what I'm saying is because... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. When he picked me up, I'm not really wanting to date right now. The only reason people come down here this time of night is to buy drugs or pick up women. Well, I don't do reason. Well, you have no legitimate reason for being down here. Yeah. Well, I gave someone a ride, but I understand what you're saying. You have no legitimate reason to be down here. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. All right. Man, I'm watching my friends dying. You know, girls that are on the same corner with me. And I don't have it, you know. I don't have it. I got a good family. Do you hear what you're telling me? I know. Do you hear what you're saying? Have you ever tried anything else? You mean have I worked? Yeah, I mean, tried yeah. to get away from this? Is it just the money? No, it's drugs. Damn really? the money. You ever tried to get any help there? I've been to six rehabs. Really? Nothing's even come close? Nothing's ever... I mean, even I a stretch. Home. I went home. My stepdad died. I mean, if it wasn't my stepdad down, it probably would have been some others. You know what I'm saying? Well, I feel for you. I really do. I mean, you're a smart girl. You're, you know, you've never done anything bad to us. You've never treated us bad. And you just, you seem to be in a cycle where you're, you're stuck. I mean, there's things out there for you. There's programs, and you said you tried them. Hey, Sarge, hold on just a second. What's going on is uh, she was over at, at uh, what street were you on? 11th? Just there? Yeah. 9th, something Ninth. like that. 9th, that was it. And uh, flagging down cars, and he stopped and picked her up. He lives all the way in Orange Park, and uh, she's telling us what's going on, but she said there was no deal made. She said she did ask for a ride to go to Arlington, and that's what he said. But she said that he was looking for a date, but they just hadn't actually made a deal yet. He had license on him and everything? He had his license. He was completely cooperative, but he has no business in this area. He can't explain why he's here. His stories are all... He didn't attempt to conceal himself? No. Yeah. No. Okay, well, I'll scratch him the ticket. I would write a contact card and write it to advice, too. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm sure he's... He's, he's down here picking up. And he's so, you know quick to spit out a lie. I'm sure he's done it before. So I'll do that. 
and scratch him out a ticket. Unfortunately, there's no law against lying. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we don't have anything. Looks like we don't have anything on him. He's clean all the way around. Sarge couldn't think anything either. I mean, he's lying so blatantly, it's it's oh, irritating. Go. But uh, we're going to scratch him a ticket and cut him loose. It's his lucky day. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint.